Welcome back to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the templates that Scribus has built in so that we don't have to create our documents completely from scratch if we don't want to. Um, so to get started with that, we can go, we've learned in the past, we just go to File, New, and we can create a new document this way. We have a nice single page document. We can create everything we want to completely from scratch. But if we want to create something different, we can go File, and we can go New from Template. And what that does is brings up this dialog of all these different types of templates. We have books, brochures, business cards, cards, grids, newsletter, packaging, and PDF presentations. I would say stay away from PDF presentations if I were you. I've tried some of these. They're kind of crazy. Use a presentation tool, not Scribus, to do that. But everything else is actually pretty cool. So this book, for example, we have a 6 by 9 book for Lula and CreateSpace. It tells us all about uh, what this is, uh, the information for it. If we click OK, um, the first thing it says is, warning, this uh, template comes with a certain font, and you don't have that font installed. And we're like, ooh, we don't have this Una regular. And it's like, do you want to substitute libertarian serif regular? And I'll be like, yeah, OK, sure. And so it substituted that. So our fonts might look a little different than the original design was supposed to look like. But anyway, so we have this book here, and this is it. It's a book layout, and the pages are 6 by 9 inches, so it's different than 8.5 by 11. And it already has different um, text boxes created for the text, and it already has some different image boxes. We can right-click, and we can grab our own image if I want to replace this and have this be something else. I can put my own image in here. Uh, yeah, it's just a template. And it already has these text boxes with text associated. So we see this line here. So the text is already associated. So if I were to type in here, it'll change and the text will keep flowing to the next page. And then when it gets to the end of it, I don't know what happens at the end. But it has pages already too. So we have page 13, page 14. And if I add a page in to here, if I want to add a page after page 14, I can go page insert. And I'll say... Uh, insert one page or I'll do let's do two pages after page 14 that puts in two blank pages here oh it didn't do it maybe I, I well so what it did look I have page 14 if I zoom in we can see a little bit clip better here this is page 14 this is page 15 and 16 and then it automatically renamed this to page 17 so it has it has a, a paging scheme already set up so the pages if I add or remove pages but I forgot to tell it to use the, uh, a master page that has, so I'd have to add in the page at the bottom of these. But uh, we'll learn in the future how to not do that. <laughs> what else? So yeah, this is just a book template anyway. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I want to see what was, what was at the end of it though. Yeah, about the author. So cool. That's, that's just a book template. If we want to do a different thing, we go to new, new from template. What else do we have? Brochures. So look, here's a, a template for a brochure. The size of the paper is A4. And what is this brochure? Is it a foldable one? Oh, we can just open it and see. So we click OK. And this says you're missing a ton of fonts that you need. So we can go download these fonts if we want to. But I'm just going to replace them all with Arial. Ugh, so it's going to look bad. But yeah, it looks like it's a triple fold brochure. And so we, you have a fold line here and a fold line here. We can change the company name. Right, my company or my cool co, and then uh, we can change th these images. Of course, we can. Oh, this is a vector. But we can change like this image here. We can go get image. We can change it to my image. And we can move that around in there. Oh, come on. What's going on? Maybe I can't. Maybe that's locked or something. Um, but yeah, so this, this is just like a, a triple fold, fold brochure. And the sizes, oh yeah, it was an A4 page, so that's cool. We can go new from template, and we can change all the text of this as well, right? It's just a template. Um, these are brochure covers. I'm not sure what these are. The cover, so this is, looks like it's just the front cover of a brochure, maybe. Let's go new from template. Let's look at what else we have. Business cards. <clears throat> maybe I want to do a business card. I'll select this one here, and then I can just get in and change this. Um... Do, do, do. Let's go to this. So we can change this and make it my business card. So we click on the text here, and we got to call it TJ Free, and we put, you know, 
whatever we want to type in here, change the phone number, change the email address. <clears throat> we can even change some of these, so I'm not sure what these are. Can we move these lines? So probably not the best way. I would design an Inkscape. That's how I've done all my business cards, but you can design a business card. It is print. And if you're really focused on like maintaining the same color scheme between your your printed um, brochures and magazines and your business card, maybe you'd want to do that. Let's go new from template and let's look at one more. So we have a newsletter here. Newsletter two, let's try this one. So newsletter just kind of looks like this. We've got different columns, different headers. And I believe these are going to have, if we go, for example, if we select this and we go into the um, story editor, I wonder if these have, so these do. So these actually have some some styles already built in. It has a header style, a, list, a style for doing lists, a style for the main heading, a style for subheading. And so if we, want, if we change that, it's going to make all that text a subheading text, which is not what we want to do in this case. But So that's one really cool thing is it's not just a layout, but it also comes with, I think it comes with um, preset. Let me look here. Yeah, so it, it actually comes with preset colors, uh, a preset color profile, and preset, um, what were those called? Styles. So that's really, really cool, which we're going to learn about in the future. But So the templates are... They're nice. This is more than meets the eye with these. Let's try this packaging one. So this is just like a little cutout. We see of how to cut out this little box and you glue these tabs here. So I'm not quite sure if how we could tailor this template, but it's kind of cool just to see. I wonder if this is even what this is. Is it an image? I'm not so sure about this one. Um, new from template and so that's all. And then grids, if we wanted to do like a brochure, like different types of grids, we have like a brochure grid for different sizes. And so these are nice because we can actually bring this in and then design around this grid, and then we can remove the grid. So it's just nice for us a certain size paper to design on if you're if, if that's something that meets your needs. So I've opened up a ton of different things. We can if we if we minimize this, we can kind of see. So we have all these different documents open, and we can have multiple documents open uh, at once in Scribus, as you can see. And we can drag and move them around. Most of the time, you'll probably just be working with one. I'm going to close a few of these, but I just want to show that we can have uh, multiple open at once, and we can toggle between these different different projects that we have open. Well, I hope, you enjoy, hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one.